325 grain FTX bullet traveling at 2,000 feet per second on a 4570. Let's go shoot some T Rex. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh guys uh, Welcome back to another video um, Today I am so excited um, I am probably this uh, This rifle that I am going to be showing just about now uh, Is uh, was my dream my, my childhood dream rifle you can say I've always wanted to have one it's, uh, it's a 4570 on a Henry by Henry. Such a beautiful, beautiful rifle. You can see the engraving there of Henry, the brass finish, side gate loading version. Well, there's one different thing that I've Added to this, I have no plans of putting a scope on this. I think they should make it a crime to put scope on liver action. So I put a peep sight, as you can see. And a foresight as well. It's by Skinner Alaskan. So I, I don't, I, I got this from the US. They blend it so perfectly with, uh, with this rifle beautiful um, this is primarily gonna be my bush rifle that uh, I'll be mainly using on Samba um, in the last few trips uh, I had noticed that I was bumping into Samba at least 20 meters 30 meters so I thought you know this was this is gonna be a perfect uh, uh, bush rifle for that purpose it's a cannon I haven't shot a single shot out of this. I'm going to be shooting with my mates out here. I might have them here at the property. So they have got their other rifles here as well. And I'll shortly show you there's some interesting ones in there. But this is this video is mainly to cover, you know, this this cannon here. I'll be using both. Uh, I have two bullets. I have one by Honda D Subsonic. Sub X bullets traveling at 1,000 feet per second, and this one, this is a three. This is going to be my hunting round. This is a 325 grain uh, FTX bullet by by Hornady, uh, traveling at 2,000 feet per second. All right. Um, without further ado, let's head to the head to the bench and uh, have some fun. Right. 
Oh man, that was some experience shooting the, those first four rounds. And now in terms of uh, the, the recoil, um, I was expecting a much more recoil. Um, I was bracing myself because it doesn't have any padding. Um, it just has a brass plate and uh, it was shooting, it was kicking back okay. I was, it was not like uh, what I was expecting, but probably it could be because of uh, the subsonic uh, shots that I'm, that I'm using. They're, uh, they're traveling at 1000 feet per second, so probably that could be the reason. Maybe it, it, uh, this, the, the ones that I've just shot are at 25 meters. Um, and uh, so the next next one I'll be shooting at 50 meters using the lever evolution FTX bullets. Um, so yeah, I mean, so I was probably quite a bit off the target, but uh, what the hell, I'm just shooting it for the first time. So let's go and try it 50 meters now. Oh yeah, I felt that. So at 50 meters, using the Lever Evolution 325 grain FTX bullets, uh, pretty bad aim, but <laughs> I'm still happy. <clears throat> Probably I need to head to the range and uh, you know uh, get the hang of it, you know, in a proper way. Mosin Nagan. Made in 1938. If I can see that. Yep, 1938. What a beautiful rifle. Gonna shoot this now. One eighty grain bullets. Which ones are these? Chambered five seven point six two by four. What is that? Kiss Laga. Kiss Laga. Kiss Laga. Kiss All right, after spending about six to seven hours at the, at the range, uh, we just uh, went to drive around the property uh, just to look around if there's any deer activity around. And as you can see, uh, <laughs> we came across uh, quite a few of quite a few deer in just a matter of an hour. Um, chittle deer, also red deer. Um, and probably might come back 
soon to over here to uh, test the 4570 and how it performs on the reds as well um, I definitely need more practice I'm sure about that um, but yeah it'll be good to test it over here before you know chasing the more elusive samba all right guys hope you got hope you guys like the video um, I'll see you until next time then Asalaamu Alaikum